but the, the, the idea of barging on the Ohio River has a couple downsides. And uh, Casey had a, an article this, in this morning's paper about it. That the Coast Guard's worried about freight, and uh, especially during venting. I, I worry about having a facility in a, a residential neighborhood because when you fill a tank, you have to vent out the gas that is existing in that tank. And if that contains a lot of radium, then it's going to go to radon and people are going to be exposed. Same thing with benzene and toluene. Um, no, we don't know enough. Uh, we have about, I think, 39 municipal intakes on the Ohio River between you know, here in Illinois, Cairo. Um, we don't know enough about it. We just learned in the last couple of years that bromide was a problem, of the bromide problem. That was teased apart by the Pittsburgh Water Authority and several investigators that collaborated. And it took a long time to figure out what was going on. Um, but in response to that, they quit taking water into municipal, or, uh, municipal sewage treatment plants and therefore discharging it into the river. So there's a little bit of progress there, but it requires knowledge and testing information. Not enough of that's going on. So we need, uh, I'm looking forward to the experimental wells that we can tease apart, you know, and, and get information out from the public that way. Um, are we ready in the Ohio River to shut down intakes? No. Um, and uh, this tank bill is really important to West Virginians. It really is, and you need to make your voices known. The, um, there's no reason not to inventory, uh, other than it is expensive, but it's, a, it's, a worth, it's worth the cost. Our municipal intakes would be able to detect using scientific instrumentation that's available now, especially conductivity, um, frack water, if it should spill. Uh, unlike the situation in Charleston <coughs> where MCH, full methyl cyclohexane methanol, being a uh, non-polar molecule, would not be able to be detected by the instrumentations <coughs> that we have now. So, um, but that doesn't mean we're prepared for, for that kind of event. And, and I think and my main comment on the Coast Guard's pro proposed promulgated rule is it, it cries out for risk assessment. 